am Natalia and I'm here with Nick, Jackie and Emma and we are representing the crowdfunding team which is actually 12 people strong here at the National Museum of the Royal Navy in Portsmouth. Each of us has got a unique expertise but we all have got one goal in mind. We want to preserve the memory of a very special boy by restoring a very unique drawing of him. His name is Jack Cornwall. Jack Cornwall was just 16 when he fought in the Battle of Jutland. Despite being wounded very early in the battle, Jack remained at his post, a really young lad when around him his crew members lay dying, injured and dead. Sadly, Jack lost his life in the battle, but he was proclaimed a hero and awarded a Victoria Cross, which is the highest honour for a valour in the field. But when news about his bravery got out, people demanded a reburial with full naval honours. I'm a mum of three young adults. I can't imagine the fear that Jack will have felt and the bravery that he displayed. His story captured the imagination and the heart of the nation. And what we want to do is have the Salisbury charcoal restored in time for the centenary next year so we can put it into our Battle of Jutland exhibition, the Jutland Centenary exhibition which is going to be in this building here. This will be the biggest Jutland exhibition anywhere in the world. We're bringing together the collections of two major museums and several smaller ones. It will be the most important event commemorating this battle and what we want is to have the Salisbury charcoal sketch as a centrepiece of our section that looks at the legacy of the battle and the aftermath and how people talk about it and remember it in the years that have followed. So the training we offer to scouts enables them to hopefully be able to react to different situations uh, but it's when the really abnormal things occur that you see the sort of courage of scouts come out. Cornwall Scout Badge was instituted and that is something that recognises long-term bravery and courage over sort of many, many months. And recently we had somebody called Vicky in Hampshire who actually got awarded the Cornwall Scout Badge. Um, I'm Victoria Edwards. I'm 16 years old. I was about 14 years old when I got awarded the Cornwall Award. Um, that was because um, I was going to scouts, I was a completely normal child before I became ill and I was continually going to scouts and um, I then became ill with a brain hemorrhage and that paralysed me on the left side but as soon as I went to the hospital and it was the summer holidays in September scouts started up and I was in my wheelchair being lifted up the steps to try and get into scouts so I was, I was really wanting to do it and that's why I got awarded it because I continued and I scouted through adversity, that's what they said. Why do you think it is important that in, now in 2015 we still remember like, people like Jack? Because they've done such an incredible thing. I mean, it's not every day that you have somebody continually fighting even though they're wounded. It's not, you don't get that a lot, so these people need to be cherished and celebrated. <laughs> I think the story can inspire so many people. I mean, there's so many people out there that will possibly think, oh my god, look what he done, I can do that too, in their own way, and they can interpret it. And I mean, it for me, when I heard his story, I was like, now that's when I want to give back. So I always try and give back as much as I can to scouting because I've heard his story and it's something that I just want to hopefully one day be able to live up to. He's, he's definitely a hero to me. He's, he's somebody that you, can never, you never think that you can live up to. He's somebody that you aim for but probably will never live to. It's simple to support our campaign. Go to our Indiegogo page and select the amount you want to give from our list of exclusive perks. You can even do more with your donation by using it as a Christmas gift or donating on behalf of someone else.
Please help us keep Jack's memory alive and uh, let us make his drawing ready for the exhibition next year, which will be here. Every donation counts, however big or small, and every single penny can make a difference. Time is running. We've got only 29 days, but we can do it with your support.